Hi, I'm Brian Parks from Belimo Technical Support. Today, I'd like to talk to you about how to use digital calipers to make a measurement for a Belimo retrofit application. Here at Belimo, we supply our actuators to our customers so that they can put our actuators on our competitors' valves or dampers. In order to supply the correct linkage or coupling, it's important that you use a caliper to make the measurement. You can't use a ruler, you can't use a tape measure, and it's very important that we get some accurate measurements. If we were to make the coupling for your application and it had the wrong measurements, unfortunately, we're not able to take those back. So it's important that you make the measurements correctly the first time. Let's take a look at the calipers here. On the bottom, I have a vernier calipers, which is what I would call the old school calipers. Okay, this is the vernier scale down here. And uh, you can use these for the measurement. If you are used to using those, you're more than welcome to use them. Today though, we find that it's much better to use a set of digital calipers. For under $50 today, you can get a pr pretty accurate set of calipers. We require that when you submit the measurements, that you're accurate to within three decimal places if you're using inches, and that you're accurate to within two decimal places if you're using millimeters. Let's take a look at the calipers here. These lower jaws here are for measuring the outside diameter of an item. These upper jaws are for measuring the interior dimensions of an item. This rod that comes out of the end here is for measuring the depth of an item. And I'll show you how to do those three things. Let's take a closer look at the calipers. On the bottom here is what I would call a thumb wheel. That's for moving the calipers open and closed a little more accurately. You put your thumb on it and you push on it. Up here on the top, I've got a set screw and I can lock that down. If I make a measurement, I'm able to turn that set screw down and it locks the measurement in place. And as I begin to move these calipers, they're designed so that the digital numbers will begin to read automatically. Before I use a set of calipers, I want to do an inspection. I want to make sure they're not bent. I want to make sure that they're clean. And I especially want to take a look at the inside jaws here. And I want to make sure there's no debris and it, that it would give me an incorrect measurement. So I take my thumb wheel. I'm going to close the calipers all the way. And the very most important thing about using a digital caliper is to ensure that it's actually reading zero. If I had this caliper and it wasn't reading zero, I can push the zero button and it will have the calipers zero out. When we find that there's been an error made in using a set of digital calipers, it's because the person didn't zero out the digital setting before they began to make the measurement. There's an on off button here. And on the top, I can change this from inches to millimeters. At Belimo, it doesn't matter to us if you use inches or millimeters. Uh, just so long as you specify on the form which form of measurement that you're using. So right now what I'd like to do is I'm going to get a valve and some couplings and I'll take some measurements and I'll show you better how to use the calipers. So I've got a butterfly valve here and what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the digital calipers to measure the valve stem. And so if you notice I've got the calipers turned on, they're closed all the way, it's not reading zero. Here's a good instance, I'm going to zero the calipers out I'm set for inches, and what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna use this wheel, and I'm gonna slowly open the calipers. I can get it around the stem. I'm gonna lock it, in, lock it in place with this locking nut. I'm gonna pull the calipers away, and I've got my reading, and uh, I would record that on my retrofit sheet, okay? I'm gonna go ahead, and every time that I use the calipers, I always close them all the way because I want to make sure that I've still got the zero reading. So the next thing that I'm going to do, I'm going to take and I'm going to measure the width here. I put it up against the valve stem. I want to make sure that I'm at a 90 degree angle to what it is that I'm measuring. I don't want to be tilted. I don't want to be sideways. And so what I'm going to do is I pull it up against the valve stem. I lock it in place. I pull it away and I've got my reading. Loosen the locking nut. I zero it out again, I close them all the way. And then the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna measure the height of the valve stem. I'm gonna take this wheel and I'm gonna push this rod out farther than what the length of the stem is. I'm gonna put this rod up against the valve stem 
and I'm going to slide down the calipers until I hit the top. Again, I'm going to make sure that I'm at a 90 degree angle to the valve stem. I'm going to go ahead and lock it in place and I've got my measurement. I'm going to go ahead and record that. So the very last thing that I'm going to do is there, there are four bolt holes on the top of the valve. So what I want to do is I want to know what's the diameter of the bolt holes. I'm going to close this all the way. I'm going to zero it out. And then using the top jaws, I'm going to turn this upside down and I'm going to roll this wheel until it's completely open and I'm touching the side. I'm making sure that I'm at a 90 degree angle. I take it out. I've got the diameter of these bolt holes. I'm going to record that. Now I'm going to show you if I had taken a tape measure, and this is a pretty inexpensive one here, and if I'm trying to get that measurement, I can't get the accuracy that's needed for the Belimo machine shop. So we don't recommend that you use a tape measure. So right here, I have an example of a coupling that we made for a retrofit application based on measurements that a customer sent in. And so what happened is a customer sent a request for a retrofit and using the measurements, we're able to make this. And if you notice, there's very little play or slop as we would say. Uh, so when an actuator is put on here, it's pretty accurate. When the actuator is opening, the valve is going to turn. And you can see the tolerances are pretty small on this. They're pr pretty, pretty tight. And so by using a caliper, we're able to get those excellent measurements. Thanks for watching the video today. If you have any questions, please call Blimo Technical Support at 800-543-9038. Or you can send us an email at technical support at us.belimo.com. You can also find any information regarding retrofits at www.belimo.us. Please be sure to subscribe to the Belimo YouTube channel and watch for our next video on retrofits that will be coming out shortly. Thank you.